we're told a plano convex lens is ground from crown glass with a refractive index of 1.52. What should be the radius of the curved surface if the desired focal length is to be 400 millimeters? Well, first, let's just check that we know what we're talking about. A plano convex lens is one which has one flat surface and one convex surface, and we're asked to calculate the radius of the convex surface. You may very well ask, what is the radius of curvature of a flat surface? And the answer is, it is infinite. So this is a case of simple substitution into the lens maker's equation. So we need to use 1 over f is equal to n minus 1, 1 over r minus 1 over r2. And by direct substitution, we have 1 over 400 millimeters is equal to 1.52 minus 1 is 0.52 times 1 over r1, which is what we wish to calculate. Sorry, that should have been a positive, uh, an addition sign in the brackets above, plus 1 over infinity. 1 over infinity is 0, and therefore we're left with 1 over 400 millimeters is equal to 0 0.52, which is a number and has no units, divided by R1. So if we multiply both sides by R1, and then multiply both sides by 400 millimeters, then we're left with R1 is 0 0.52 times 400 millimeters, which we can bash into our calculator as R1 is 208 millimeters, which we will show to our marker as being our final answer. And just a few points we might note about that. It is a positive number, which corresponds to a concave radius of curvature, which is correct. If we had a negative r number there, we would have made a mistake in the calculation. As always, you should substitute your number back into the original calculation to make sure that you have an equality. In this case, the easiest place to substitute back into is this equation. And you should do that. And if you do, you will verify that 0.52 divided by 208 is indeed equal to 1 over 400. So we haven't made a mistake. And we're done.